Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of requests uh, going over the integration with the stock uh, PCM and Holly. So it communicates to all of your uh, factory gauge cluster. Um, so basically I just made up a quick list I'm going to go over it with you guys. Instead of keep typing it out, I'll just post this video and uh, you guys can watch it and make fun of me if you want. So stock PCM uh, harness. You're going to keep your oil level sensor, uh, oil pressure sensor, your harness grounds, just in case if they do what you need, coolant temp, coolant level sensor, your crank uh, sensor, you're going to need that for the signal for RPM, uh, trans selector slash neutral safety switch, uh, that's on the side of your trans, uh, where your selector lever is, you want to keep that, that's going to be, you know, allow you to use the factor ignition switch and uh you're gonna keep your al alternator plug just let the stock computer take care of you know that instead of you having to wire up keep ha uh, keep positive and do your own resistor in line uh, and you're going to keep your ac pressure uh, sensor and compressor plugs um we can cut out obviously everything that your stock uh or everything that the holly is going to control you can get rid of so your coils injectors map cam sensor tps iac knock sensor evap egr the o2s and the trans speed sensor i might have forgot something but that's everything i could think of off the top of my head when i wrote this down um so when you're doing this you're keeping your crank because you need to know the rpm for the computer um, that's going to, you know, allow the AC to kick on and it's going to communicate that to your dash. Um, oil pressure sensor, just leave, you know, that in the factory location and just, you know, keep that plugged in with your, uh, factory harness. Um, and then that's going to communicate, you know, to your dash. Same thing with the coolant temp sensor, exact same. Uh, all the Holly stuff, as far as oil pressure and coolant temp. Uh, I ran oil pressure on the side of the oil pan for the Holly. I just bought an extension harness because they want to reach. And then same thing with the coolant temp. I put that on the passenger side uh, head, so the driver's side like you normally do. And then I just ran an extension because I want to reach. And, you know, ran the Holly one there. Um, trans neutral safety switch, we already went over that. Uh, you're going to obviously just keep it. So you can use your factory ignition switch and start up the truck. Uh, coolant level and oil level. Basically, I just ran a wire and looped the the two ends of the connector, and it ba you know it thinks that the oil and coolant level is full. Um, and also, there's an output on the Holly for a speedo. That's the only sensor we didn't really go over, uh, engine-wise, engine-trans-wise. Uh, you're going to run that to the back of the gauge cluster, and it's a green wire. You're going to connect that right to the green wire, and your speedo will work. Um, as far as the volts and the fuel level, that's still, you know, in your factory harness. That's going to work. You, you didn't mess anything up as far as that goes. Um just keeping your factory computer and harness. Uh, that's pretty much everything I could think of. You know, this truck runs and drives like stock. AC blows ice cold still. Um, you know, it's just a blast to drive. The Holly, you know, with it being on here, you can't even tell the difference with the stock computer to the Holly. I mean, it starts right up. Ice cold idles and uh, drives and shifts smooth. I've seen some people were commenting, oh, the Holly doesn't shift the trans is nice or I can't get the parameters right to make a shift it's you know you just got to take your time and uh you know mess with it and it'll shift just like stock and you know, you'll be able to enjoy it and not even know all right guys hopefully this was helpful and uh if you got any questions I guess ask away bye also real quick guys I uh just want to say I got a lot of this information off my buddy Matt uh, when he was doing his build and um, just carried along into this one and you know I might have 
done things a little bit differently than he did, but this is the way I did it. And I've been having a million questions getting asked and rather than, you know, bringing people his way and annoying him with the million questions, I figured I'd just put this out and uh, inform you guys what I've learned and what I was taught, essentially. All right, thanks.